What's up guys? Welcome back to day two, playground edition, at home workouts. Today we're gonna check out some stationary under dribbles with some stationary behind the back wraps. And today's footwork, we're gonna dive into being precise and detailed with our speed stops out of our behind the back wrap. Speed stop again is stopping inside foot and outside foot. And finally, our pickup of the day is gonna be a back of the neck pickup, a rare one you see, but an effective one when you drive through traffic. Let's get started. Our first stationary ball handling is going to be an under dribble. Now, if you're not familiar with what an under dribble is, an under dribble is your ability to manipulate the ball behind and around your frame, pushing the ball underneath your hips. We want our feet to be outside of our hips and shoulders, creating a wide base. Again, we are gonna continuously do this on both sides, starting with two turn pounds. Now let's take one turn pound out to kind of speed this up, seeing how well we can manipulate the ball after our under dribbles. Now let's take out our turn pounds just to see how well we can manipulate the ball before we perform our next under dribble. Now that we've completed our under dribbles, let's focus in on our behind the back wraps. Again, staying stationary so we can isolate the upper half. Now, there are two types of behind the backs in the game. There is a behind the back dribble, which you will see it's more of a straight behind. And then there is a behind the back wrap that you're gonna see the ball being placed out more in front of us so that we could keep our momentum going downhill. Now, working with accountability, I have a pair of shoes on the outside part of my feet. Again, if your basketball is hitting the shoe, hitting behind you or hitting on the outside of the shoe, just know that we wanna be able to make sure that our behind the back wrap is staying in front of us. So the basketball must hit in front of our toes and in front of our accountability shoes, or if you have cones, that's fine too, but make sure that your feet are not moving and the ball is being all the way wrapped in front of our frame without moving that lower half. We're gonna start with two turn pounds on the right side before we perform our behind the back wrap. Again, making sure that your feet are staying glued and always getting that ball in front of that left toe. Let's check it out. Now let's take out one turn pound to see how well we can manipulate the ball and kind of speed this up. Now let's take out our turn pound so we can just isolate our behind the back wraps. Again, once the ball hits in front of your toes, manipulate the ball in front and wrap that ball back to the other side. See how many you can get, test your manipulation and your control. Now that you've completed your behind the back wraps, let's combine our under dribbles and our behind the back wrap. Again, testing your manipulation and testing your speed with taking no dribbles in between. Now that we've completed our under dribbles and our behind the back wraps out of our stationary stance, let's start moving out of our behind the back wrap. Now, one thing I want you guys to focus on on this is not moving your inside foot after or during your wrap. I want you guys to be able to stay stationary out of this and really focus in on only taking two steps forward. That is our speed stop. Again, feeling not any twitching, jump stops, or any extra movement of your feet 
focusing in just on that inside foot, outside foot stop. We're gonna start with one turn pound on the right side, going into an under dribble to the left, and then our behind the back wrap. Again, once we go into our behind the back wrap, make sure that your right foot right now doesn't slide underneath your hips before you guys go into your speed stop. Now let's check out our speed stops going left. Now that we've completed our speed stops going right and speed stops going left and being precise with not having any feet slide underneath our hips during our behind the back wrap, if you have access to a basketball hoop, let's work on a back of the neck pickup. Again, the accountability on this one I want you to be able to do is having the basketball touch the back of your neck after your dribble step while you're taking your two steps to the basket. Again, a rare one you see, but a secured pickup while going through traffic, pinning the ball right behind the back of your head as you are taking and finding a new path to the basket. You guys at home can start however you want. Again, I'm just gonna take a few more reps with my behind the back wraps. Again, the focus right now is our back of the neck pickup. And that concludes day two at the playground, working on our stationary under dribbles, working on our stationary behind the back wraps. Again, being precise, not letting that inside foot slide underneath our hips during the wrap. The full work of the day, working on our stops, focusing in on not having any feet twitch or jump stop. We wanna be able to just stop on a dime. Pickup of the day, our back of the neck pickup, letting the ball touch that back of the neck as you find a new path to the basket. Make sure you check out tomorrow's video, same time, same place.